Hey, what's up? Easy Overdose here. I'm going to show you how to set up a log parser in this video. Now, there's two main websites that do this. There is World of Logs and Warcraft Logs. World of Logs was the original, and Warcraft Logs has taken over with just a much more friendly uh, UI to browse through all the breakdowns and stuff. So, what is a log parser, you ask? Think of a damage meter on steroids. It can do everything your damage meter can do, but better, and then some. So your damage meter is like a rusted out 1970 Pinto piece of shit, and the log parser is a 2015 Lamborghini that just came off the assembly line. So another question, why do you need this? You don't necessarily need this. If you're a casual player, don't need it at all. But if you're trying to transition from being a casual player into a good raiding guild, Beware. you will need to do this. You will need to show them logs to basically prove that you don't suck. So you'll want to head over to warcraftlogs.com and you can google it, you just punch it in the URL, whatever. In the top left corner it's got install client. Do you want to click that? And you need to install something called Adobe Air, which is what this client uses, and then of course the uploader itself. So when you get it installed it's going to look like this and you're going to have just three buttons. You're going to have upload a log, live log, and split a log. Now what you want to do in game before you click any of those buttons is just hit escape and go to system, go to network, and there's a checkbox that says advanced combat logging. And you want to have that checked. After you do that, just type front slash combat log. And what this is going to do is in your WoW folder, there's going to be a subfolder called logs, and it's going to create a text file called WoW combat log. And you can verify this is actually working because if you're in combat or you're, you know, you're just by combat, you'll see the file growing. So at this point what you want to do is most likely click live log. And what live log is going to do is it is going to upload the report as soon as you leave combat. So it's going to detect that you entered combat and then it's going to upload the report as soon as you leave combat. So you can check things in real time. If you don't want to do that, then you would just upload the log at the end of the night. Just leave it running the entire night and then upload the log. Let's talk about some of the things it can do. So let's say if someone pops hero on trash and you don't have an add-on to mouse over buffs to see who it was and you want to find out who they are because it makes you sad. So what you can do if you're live logging and after you leave combat, you can go check your report and you can just tell it trash and you can see right there, Mystic's Cast Time Warp. There's no way to deny that. So obviously what you want to do is uh, make sure you call them out and chat, make them feel bad for their mistake. Hopefully they fix that in the future. And it's important that when half of your raid is mages, that you you know you blame their proper person so another thing this can do is uh, make sure before the pull that you remind the entire raid you know why you have the exhaustion Five, buff uh, four, before the pull on the boss three, two, but one. stupidity can be contagious so what happened here is the mage that uh, popped hero on trash actually collectively lowered the IQ of the entire mage population in our raid because we had one here that pulls Five, at one second for four, the tank, which three, fucks up everybody's pre-pot. On top of that, we have exhaustion with Canyon Pop Hero, and like, bro, I'm trying to fucking rank here, it's LFR, you know? So if you aren't recording, and you can't see, like, this crumbled dick dude here pulled for the tank at one second, what you can do is you can go into your log, and you basically highlight a section of the fight, which is at the very beginning. So you highlight as low as you can go, which is three seconds. And you can see that little spike at the beginning. You need to figure out who did that spike. Now we already know it's that crumble dick guy. So if you don't know that, you're going to have to go through um, all sources and you change it to the class. And you can see this class, that class. And you can see it's not the druid. It's not the hunters. And you can see, okay, we got 15 mages here. Let's go through and see see which mage did it. So you can see that guy, he's got a spike to the right, that's not on the pool, that's like a second in. 
see that guy he's only he's a second in two and you can see oh this guy this guy hit the boss with a fucking arcane blast at 0, 0.0 seconds so there is the culprit right there so if you got idiots that are pulling before the tank no one knows who did it no one's recording you can easily figure it out with the parse logs Beware. Now after you kill a boss, what you can do is you can tab out and go to the client and it's going to say, it should say data processed, but it has uh, freaked out at me in the past. I haven't really used it in like six months regularly, but you just click report. It's going to show you the report. If it bugged out, you can upload the report manually and you can come down and you can see this is the fight that we just did. So just for comparison, I'll throw a picture up here of the SCADA damage meter and just a random piece of information SCADA, recount, and log parsers all calculate DPS, HPS with a different formula and log parsers are by far the most accurate so it's got a couple tabs that you can play with and you can see this is the ranking tab so you can see you know how you rank against other players which can potentially remind you of some idiot popping hero on trash and ruining your chance at a rank 1 LFR parse Two, one. So if you're trying to get in a good guild like this, this is what an officer or a raid leader is going to do. They're going to look at any given fight and they're going to go to damage done and then they're going to change the enemies to the, the important ad. So there's the important ad. You can see I'm the blue DPS. Uh, easy sucks. He did not do well on DPSing the important ad. And then they're going to go to the DPS pad ad. This is just pad the meter. You can see, oh yeah, easy. He's padding the fuck out of that meter. He is just blowing shit away with the warrior. And then you can check the single target on the boss DPS. And you know, easy did pretty good on that one too. So that's the kind of stuff that like a raid leader or an officer is going to look for. So what that means is, you know, don't go in there and just fucking pad the meter DPS on the wrong shit, because that ain't going to get you anywhere. And then there's another tab called Replay, and it's got basically where everyone was standing at any given time. It's got a raid frame in the bottom right corner showing you health values, like in real time of the fight, that's accurate down to like the thousandth of a millisecond. It's got the boss's uh, health frame, it's got the boss's cast bar, it's showing you debuffs that are going out, it's, show it's literally, it's the replay of the fight. Like, it's everything that happened in the fight at any given time, so you can see if people are in the wrong spot, you can see if they're in the right spot, are they stacking slow, are they stacking too fast, is one dick out by himself, you know, just anything that's wrong, everything that's right, you can see it in the replay. There's another tab called Problems, and this is just kind of like, uh, just basic, like, generic stuff to give you an idea of what item level you should be at, uh, what item level uh, average your raid is. It'll show you how many DPS pots your raid used. So you can see we got three people that used one, uh, two is the maximum potential if you don't die. You can see who used a health stone or a healing tonic. You should be using healing tonics, by the way, because they heal more than health stones. So if people in your raid are dying and you're like a raid leader or something and the same people are dying all the time and you can come in here right away and see, well, you didn't even fucking use a health stone because you're an idiot. And then you got a list here of avoidable damage. So you can kind of see like who took avoidable damage, how much they took and yada yada. And you can see like, yeah, I didn't do the best there either. And then you can see like a uh, kind of fight mechanic stuff on this fight. It's, you know, the crushing hands or whatever. So. If I turn this parse into method with my application, uh, they basically look there and they'd be like, easy, you're padding the DPS on the ads, you're not even DPS in the important ad, you're standing in shit, you only potted once, you're fucking denied, bro. You are denied, bro. You're, you'll never get in method like this. And, you know, that's probably going to make me cry. <laughs> Alright, so that's all I got. That's the basics of setting up a log parser and how to use it. So, if you like the video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more shit I make in the future. And peace.